Canada's New Democrats elect Jagmeet Singh as party leader. Canada's federal New Democrats have picked Sikh politician Jagmeet Singh to lead their party into the next general election. Mr. Singh, 38, will be the first ethnic minority to lead a major federal party in the country. He won a decisive first ballot victory over three other candidates in the left-wing party's leadership race. The politician now has the difficult task of rebuilding the party that lost 59 seats in the 2015 election. Mr. Singh got 53.6% of the vote in Sunday's leadership contest, well ahead of his rivals. This race has renewed excitement in our party, Mr. Singh said, calling the win an incredibly profound honor. Mr. Singh got a profile boost late in the race when a video of his reaction to an angry hacker at a campaign rally went viral. The New Democratic Party is currently the third-place party in Canada's parliament, with 44 of 338 seats. The left-of-centre party has never held power. In the 2011 general election it made historic gains and were catapulted into official opposition, only to lose almost a million votes mostly to Justin Trudeau's Liberals, four years later. The provincial politician said on Sunday he would focus on issues of climate change, reconciliation with Indigenous peoples, and electoral reform. Mr Singh, a former criminal defence lawyer, has also received attention for his sharp style, including a profile in GQ. Earlier this year, he explained to the American magazine how his personal style, which includes brightly colored turbans and well-cut suits, became part of his political brand. So throughout my life, I realized that people would stare at me because I stood out, he said. Some may feel awkward about that. I felt that if people are going to stare at me, I might as well give them something to look at. The federal New Democrats began the leadership search after party faithful ousted leader Tom Mulcair in April 2016. Canada's next federal election is scheduled for 2019. Edmonton attack, asylum seeker arrested over terror incident. A Somali-born refugee has been arrested in connection with attacks in Edmonton, Alberta in which five people were injured, officials say. The unnamed 30-year-old man is suspected of stabbing a policeman and injuring four pedestrians on Saturday. The officer was controlling traffic at a Canadian football league game when he was struck by a car at high speed and then attacked with a knife. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has called it the terrorist attack. Edmonton officials say the suspect could face terror and murder-related charges. They add that he had been known to police for believing in extremist ideology. According to broadcasters CBC and CTV, a flag belonging to so-called Islamic State was found inside a vehicle that hit the police officer. The officer and his vehicle were rammed by a car outside Alberta's Commonwealth Stadium on Saturday evening. The driver then stabbed the uniformed officer several times, before fleeing on foot. Shortly before midnight, a man driving a rented van was pulled over at a checkpoint. His name on documents was said to be very similar to that of the man police were searching for. The truck then fled the scene, and was pursued by officers. Four pedestrians were struck during the chase and what police say appeared to be a deliberate action. Two injured pedestrians have since been released from hospital and the police officer is recovering from his wounds. Mr. Trudeau said he was both deeply concerned and outraged by this senseless act of violence. Edmonton Mayor Don Iveson urged calm. Terrorism is about creating panic and sowing divide about disrupting people's lives, he said. We can succumb to that or rise above it. Grey line. Not the first time for Canada. Jessica Murphy, BBC News, Toronto. Canada is not immune to the forces of extremism and has dealt with attacks before. In January, a gunman entered a mosque in Quebec City and fired on worshippers, killing six. In 2014, gunman Michael Zahaf Bibo killed a soldier guarding a war memorial in Ottawa before driving to Parliament, where he was eventually killed. A few days before, two soldiers were rammed by a car in Quebec province. The suspect was later killed by police. 
but one soldier was killed and another injured in what was described as an apparent act of homegrown terrorism. Canadians are again shaken by a suspected terror incident that is reminiscent of recent vehicle attacks in European cities like Barcelona, London, and Berlin.